In this short video, we are going to learn how to set up and control the Matterport 3D camera system. There are three basic components, the tripod, the camera itself, and an iPad or even your iPhone that controls the camera. So to set up the camera, the first thing you wanna do is open the tripod and just make sure that before you open it, that the legs are level. So the legs are level, you should be good to go. So we spread out the camera. So I'm doing this with one hand, it's a little more difficult. We spread out the tripod, just make sure that the legs are fully extended and stable. And that you go, step one. Step two is you grab the camera from the little handle here and slide it. As you can see here, slide it onto this plate that's right here. Now, once it's slid onto the plate, you wanna turn this little knob in the back right here and ensure that it is centered and totally, totally tight. Now, it's very important, this knob can come loose sometimes during processing, so always make sure to keep checking it a couple times as you're using, using the camera to make sure that it's still nice and tight and snug. So right now, this should spin on its axis and this should be nice and tight and snug over here. So once you have that set up, the next step would be to just turn on the camera. Now, the camera takes um, a minute or two to warm up, so just give it some time, be patient. And the height of the camera should be about, the top of the camera should be about chest level. So it should, the top of the camera should be uh, under your chest, like around, if you can see in this camera, around here. So chest level, you wanna have it sort of like in the middle of the room. So it doesn't get too much ceiling, too much floor, just right, it just gets right in the middle of everything. So uh, basically chest level is where the top of the camera should be. So now it's warming up, finished warming up, now it's saying connect via iPad. So that's us to the third step, which is the iPad. So the iPad, uh, we just turned on Wi-Fi. So let me straighten this up. Turn the Wi-Fi on on the iPad and go to settings, just connect it to the iPad, Wi-Fi. Now the uh, Matterport camera has its own Wi-Fi connection right here. So you just click that, oops, click that P974, give it a second to connect. Uh, it shows a blue check here. And over here, it does not show connect to iPad anymore. We are fully connected. So now uh, the camera and the iPad are both synced up. The next thing you wanna do, capture app, which is this black uh, symbol with a red M in it. And that opens the, the Matterport capture app. So once that's open, you click this uh, our, uh, plus button here, and that will give you pull up, this will add a new process, a new model to the system. So we're gonna put in the street address. This address is 1715 St. Paul, and then the unit number is three. So that's it. So once you input the, the address and the unit number, you press save and it pulls up a brand new model. So you click that. Now once you click that, you are able to control the camera. So before we um, get into more detail, let me just show quickly how it works. So you just press this button here and the camera will start scanning. So this camera basically works different than a regular camera. It's not a point and shoot camera. Uh, what it does is you press the button and it scans the room and creates a scan. So just gonna show you what happens once it completes a rotation. So that's one rotation that's completed. Here it says, okay, to move camera which is now it's okay to move the camera. In the meantime, the, uh, it's processing the images that it just scanned. So you can see here it's saying it's aligning. It's aligning the images it just took on that first rotation. And then here you can see that it completed the rotation and completed the image. So if you see here, these are the windows that are, are pictured over here. Okay, and then that is the scan, that's me. <laughs> So we're gonna delete the scan because you cannot be in the scan when it's being done. So you just click click on the scan, press delete, and 
it's gone. All right, so now we're gonna leave the room and we're going to make sure we're not in view of the uh, camera so it does not happen again. So we're gonna get out of here and we're gonna click it again. So it is scanning now in the kitchen. As you can see, it's scanning and we're gonna wait until it completes scanning and then it should populate the same image as we saw before. Okay, this is Katie Move Camera. And it should say, sometimes it's a little slower because we're farther from the camera. So the closer you are, the quicker it goes. So it's, if you're hiding from the camera, you should try to get as close as possible. All right, so now it's finished. You hear that sound, it's aligning, and there you go. There's the same scan without um, myself in it. So important when it comes to scanning, you have to uh, mark the mirrors and the windows of the apartment. So the way to do that is you click this little logo here and this little logo here, and this pulls up the option to mark the window. So you just slide your finger across, basic line it up and then swap the label because the arrow is facing out. We want to face inside to the property. So we did one window here, we grab another window again, line it up and then swap that. So now we have to mark the three windows that we see here. We've marked them on the iPad, showing the insides. This one's a little off, but again, doesn't really make a huge difference, but then you have that marked. So that is for the first scan. All right, so we completed the first scan as we see here. Now the goal of scanning an apartment is to capture the entire space um, by scanning it. So as you can see, the area which is really nice and clear is the part which the camera already captured and the part that's here, it's a little more blurry and black, that's where the camera is not captured yet. So the goal is to sort of build the apartment through scanning. So what we're gonna do here now is we're gonna have to uh, sort of complete more of the scan. In order to do that, uh, we're gonna move the camera. I'm just gonna try to do this gently. Oh, a little farther down this hallway because as you can see here, down this hallway is where the camera has not been able to get to yet. So you see here, this is the hallway that the camera has not um, gotten to. This black area, so I'm gonna try to fill some of that in. So now we move the camera from this position here to this position here, and we're gonna complete another scan, and that should fill in more of the hallway. So I'm just hiding here because if the camera can see you, then if you can see the camera, the camera can see you and you don't want to be in the scans. So I'm hiding here behind the fridge. The camera cannot see me. You do hear it going and you see over here, it does say scanning. So we're gonna give that a minute to complete scanning. And after, as soon as it's done scanning, you can come a little closer to the camera and you'll see here in a minute, it says okay to move camera and you can make a ding. It's aligning and as you'll see in a second, once it's aligned, boom, see it filled in this whole space that was missing before. So as you see now, we have the uh, kitchen area and the beginning of the hallway. We're gonna go a little farther down now and do a little more of the hallway. So another one here and see if we can get a little more hallway down. So backing up now, out of the view of the camera Click scan again and let it do its thing. So as you can see here, there's a little bit of uh, debris, digital debris in the side of the model. What you wanna do if you ever see that is click this little scissor button and click trim and uh, point the arrow outwards, basically telling the camera to remove any excess stuff. So the camera has finished um, scanning this scan point. Once again, it's going to, um, it's aligning. And you should see in a second, boom, it added on there, okay? 
So we're gonna continue down this hallway until the bedroom now. And hopefully it would allow us to, um, so we're right here, here at the end of the hallway. There's a bedroom, you see it started to get the bedroom. You can see over here it started to get the bedroom. And um, yeah, we'll just, this time we'll go out of the apartment actually, just because it's the closest point that we can hide. And we will scan again. Um, now in regards to preparing the apartment, we didn't cover this yet, but you always want to go in and make sure you don't see anything out of place. Yeah, um, I'd like to hit outside for a second and we have completed a scan in the bedroom. Uh, it says it's okay to move the camera, it's aligning. So we'll just give that a minute to align and it started building the bedroom. So now we're gonna go to the back right corner of the bedroom. So try to get the most we can from each scan. So we're here in the back right corner and hopefully we'll fill in that piece over here. Um, so to hide for this scan, we can probably hide in the bathroom. Um, like I said, as long as the camera can't see you, I'm actually gonna go in the tub for this one. Then you can't see, if you, you can't see the camera, the camera can't see you. So we're scanning here. In terms of repairing the property, you always wanna make sure all the lights are on, um, no major dust or debris in the apartment and the toilet seat covers are down. Uh, basically, the way you scan it is the way it's going to be seen, so you always want to make sure the apartment is, is sort of in its best uh, form. Sometimes it's out of control, but um, you do the best you can in terms of making sure the apartment's in its best looking form. So, the scan here in the back right corner, let's see, uh, it's aligning now. So give it a second to align, and it should fill up this back right corner. Boom, there we go. And then we're going to move over to the left here left corner so again we're just slowly building the apartment up using the scanning and I'm just gonna hide from the camera again so we can't see it it can't see us click scan and it's going to rotate now in terms of um, path which path should you take to scan the apartment basically um, just natural path like a person would naturally walk through an apartment we also want to get the, some of the corners done because that gives us an angle to be able to grab pictures from um, and grab pictures. So basically, if we're taking a picture, we want to get it from the corner so we can get as much in, in view as possible. So taking a picture from the middle of the room is probably not a great idea. We just want to do the um, give the person the most um, the angles to show them the most. All right, so now for bathrooms, you want typically to go all the way in because it's too tight. You want to just stay sort of like in the doorway. And as you can see, um, let's turn the iPad around. This is where we just scanned. We just scanned here and then this is the bathroom. So we're just gonna hide from the camera. It should be right here. Another tip is always make sure the camera, especially if you go tight to the doorway, you want to make sure it can do a full rotation. So just use your hand. You can sort of rotate it. Make sure that it's not going to, the handle's not going to bang into anything. So have that here. Hiding from the camera. Click scan. And that should pull up this um, point right here, which is the bathroom. And continue to build the model. So again, just prep. Set the camera up. Make sure all the lights are on, toilet seats are down, no, no, no clutter or um, anything too um, obstructive in the way of the apartment. So here we go, we just finished the bathroom. It's aligning now, and there we go, the bathroom is built. All right, now we're into the closet. So in terms of, so that's prep, and then I'm just gonna hide again. So prep is setting up the camera, preparing the apartment. Um, so it's PPP, prepare, and um, prep the camera, prepare the apartment, and then um, path, so the path you take. So just basically, like I said, just in terms of normal walking path, but also usually doing it from the corners in order to get the, the most um, apartment in the view as possible for the person looking. So right, that should complete the scans for the bedroom. And it looks like, see what's aligning over here. So that completes the scan for the bedroom. As you can see, everything is fully built in the bedroom. You have the closet, 
you have the um, toilet and the, the bedroom. Now the black spots, to disregard them, they'll show up at the end, um, but those things are just digital issues. They're not actually gonna be a problem with the scan. All right, so let's go back to the kitchen because as you can see, we are missing um, the kitchen portion here. It's a little bit blurry and pixelated. So we're gonna go back here to the kitchen and just finish that up and that sort of completes the tour. Uh, and so here we wanna sort of get a angle. Well, let's get actually an angle from here, from the other corner. Maybe the front left corner, one in the front right corner of the kitchen. So we'll get that. The camera's here, focus. And then uh, that will give us this corner here. Um, now, as we did in the beginning, we're gonna have to mark the windows. Marking the windows only has to be done prior to uploading the model. After you're completed it, you don't need to do it the whole time while you're um, scanning just before you upload it. So uh, don't worry about that now. I'll show you at the end. We're just gonna quickly mark up all the windows and the model will be good to go. So we just completed that last scan and just one more here, just looking towards the kitchen and should be good to go. So, and there we go. The full model is completed, including the kitchen. You can see everything, this blank space here in the middle is where the staircase is and the entrance. So that's disregard that for now. Just do one more scan and then we will be done. In order to remove the camera, you want to do basically the same process. First, you got to shut it down. Um, you don't need to wait till it shuts down to take it off. And then you just loosen this screw. Now, when you're loosening this, make sure you're also holding the handle at the same time, which I'm not doing because I'm trying to do both because this gets shaky and can fall out and be problematic. So just make sure you're holding it. Put it back in the knapsack and that's it. You're done.